are at Kelly Lozano, Espatonia, and there's an amazing selection of street art here. We're not quite sure of uh, the name of these because they're in Spanish, which makes it a wee bit, a wee bit difficult. This is fabulous. It's on the side of this apartment block. It looks like an old castle. Not good. And on the far side of it is another piece of street art. With a uh, goldfinch. And we're near Calais, um, Zaragoza. And there's a tag name here. Oh, good. It's Francisco Al Arcon, 2016. It's not fabulous. And this is another fabulous piece of street art, just appearing out of nowhere. It's called Jump Into the Blue. We were able to translate it. And it's by a guy called, his tag name is Kaz, C-A-Z dot L. Love this. And yet another piece of street art here beside the Queen's British Grammar School in Estepone, all up we side streets. I've just come into a big square and there's yet more street art going on. Palm trees. That's really good. And this is the botanical gardens because these are baobab trees and this is the orchid house in behind that's fabulous what has been done here. Very decorative. There's street art all over the place here in Estepona. Francisco Alacron Medra Amarosh 2013 and I presume that this is uh, the same artist yeah it is Francesco Alacron 
Oh my, just beside, just beside a, a wonder of nature as well. This magnificent orange tree growing away. Excellent, two of them. In fact, there's ones across the road. Brilliant stuff. And there's more street art right across the road here. Going up, um, these these purple flowers growing up the walls, and they're shaded by the trees that I can't even see. All around, beside the botanical gardens here. Very pretty. Now look at this. It's not clever. And clever again. It just continues right the way down. Brilliant job, whoever did that. I'm looking down the other side of the street. And there's flower pots. Trying to get them in. And the artist has even got the shadows in there as well. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And this is another excellent piece of street art going on here. We have videoed quite a bit of street art in Estepona. And if you can translate Spanish, you'll know what this says. And this is funny, humorous piece of street art here. El Bucador. And the street artist is a guy called Eric Aman. And it was done in 2014. Excellent though. Love it. And this guy is one of the few guys who has actually put a tag on his work. No, it's not a tag, it's his actual name. This is the ABC Plaza off the main street in <coughs> Estepona. And another amazing piece of street art done in 2013. And there's actually a street art trail that you can follow. We're trying to follow uh, parts of it, but it's, it's, it's extensive. And there's another wee square with another piece of street art. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Uh, 
and this is good. This is like Dennis the Menace type street art. Or the Beano cat walking along the wall. And the scooters and people hanging out there washing. And the dog looking out the window on the beach. And the surfing. And there's me on the computer up at the top. And there's somebody walking about in the nude. And there's an alien. There's an alien. <laughs> oh dear, love that street art. And there's Mr. Street Art, <laughs> Mr. Street Art down at the bottom. Brilliant stuff. And yet another Beano type Beezer piece of street art. And this one's by Edmond. This is, this is very nice. It's all about uh, harvesting the lemons. Fruta de Irene. April 2015. And this is by E. E. Hoyos. Place called uh, Du Ron just had Estepona. Can't make, make out the tag name here. But uh, the mural was done in 2017. And this must be one of the best murals that we've spotted so far. That's class. We guard water in the garden. And the shadow and all caught behind her. Uh, this is quite a famous mural. So we've got the hose pipe being connected to the wall here. Andalusia. 
in Andalusia, the, and the artist is J.F. Rios. He's a kidney tree. And they must have had a street art f festival here at one stage for all these uh, pieces to be done. And again, we've just spotted more and more street art through the trees here. Uh, a humorous one. And then there's there's two more further back. art all over the place here. There's a sort of stairway to heaven job. Brilliant stuff. And isn't this fabulous? Is this a mackerel on the line? I think so. Maybe not. Extraordinarily creative. And this is by um, I. F. Rios again. You can you can recognise his style. Very realistic. Very colourful, atmospheric, scenic. Now look at this, acrobatics. Or acrobats. And this is Hassan E. Van. Elena Aguela Amare and Alexandro Martinez Garcia, August 2013. And again, another fabulous job. Brightening the place up. Just crossing the road to get a better, a better look. Fabulous.
and this quiet street at the back of the big Catholic church here and there's the Last Supper. I'm not quite sure what Mary Mary's doing in the middle of the Last Supper. Uh, somebody's sort of rewritten the Bible there. Or reinterpreted it. So we've got three, three or six disciples, male on this side. Three and three or six and three or nine, ten, eleven. And there should be twelve. But we've got Mary sitting beside Jesus. Uh, rather silly, but nevertheless. And this is by this is a takeoff of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, and it's by uh, Kuro Leighton. <laughs> 